Edmund lived in a house during the pandemic with his wife and two kids. Life was difficult, and they were losing their minds. That's when they heard a voice from the phone. It's time to do another Kickstarter, Edmund. This Kickstarter must feature a giant expansion to Four Souls. Reprint all the old cards and present them in an amazing collectible box. Yes, Lord. Anything, Edmund replied. It must also contain tons of Isaac-themed merchandise that people can add to their order. Even if they don't want the card game, all backers should have access to this one-stop Isaac shop. Yes. It will feature limited edition promo cards drawn by amazingly cool artists and even cameo cards from other games and series. And social goals! We need social goals! Super crazy stuff for fans to enjoy and celebrate 10 years of the Binding of Isaac. And you should draw people and sign stuff and do tons of live streams and interviews. You must spread the word of Isaac to the world. Make this the biggest Kickstarter ever. Give the fans every single thing they could ever ask for. Make all their wildest dreams come true. Without thinking, Edmund agreed to this and threw himself down into the unknown depths below. Hello, Internet. It is me, Edmund McMillan, and I'm back again with more Binding of Isaac. You can't get enough, and I can't stop making stuff. They call me a one-trick pony, but the trick is fucking good, and you know it. So <laughs> we're gonna keep doing the trick. We've got four Souls expansions. We've got shitloads of cards. We've got cameos from other games. We've got alternate art cards. We've got plush toys. We've got fucking hats. A beanie. There's a, bean, a, a pink beanie you could wear on your head. It's very phallic-like. What I'm getting at here is that it's time to have some fun with the Binding of Isaac again. One of the biggest features is a giant expansion called Requiem for Four Souls. Uh, which will add almost double the number of cards in the game, but also add a full new deck uh, of cards called the Room Deck, which are be like global modifiers for the game that edit basically everything you do. Uh, there's also charmed enemies, and then one of the bigger things is that every tainted enemy will have representation in the game. We're gonna have something called, I call the Big Box, and <laughs> it fits like a thousand cards. It's an ideal tier for those of you who have the base game and want the new expansion. Um, it comes with the Requiem expansion. It comes with heart tokens. It comes with a new bag to hold your heart tokens that has blood all over it. And it's got a bunch more extras that we're gonna just pack in there as we kind of unlock stuff. Last time we got people to do wacky shit and it unlocked cards like crying on camera, yeah, or explaining to your mom what the story of the Binding of Isaac is. People get Gilbert Godfrey to say, The Binding of Isaac. I just really love the experience, and I know a lot of the people involved also really love the experience, and I want to do it again. <laughs> There'll be a checklist of things that people need to do, and we'll kind of go off the checklist and start unlocking packs of cards. One of the things I want to, one of the things I want to have people do is, um, reenact an infamous fight between your parents. <laughs> this Kickstarter is really about celebrating Isaac and celebrating the fans. And we listened to you last time, and I trust me, I remember everything you said. During this Kickstarter, we want the same thing to happen. We want you to give us feedback so we know what you want. It's the 10 year anniversary of the Binding of Isaac this year, and I, you know, how better to celebrate than with this kind of crazy Kickstarter again, where we can kind of have fun causing chaos online. <laughs> Big thanks from me to you. I wanna do really cool stuff, so I'm <laughs> thanking you in advance for all the cool stuff that you will do. Binding of Isaac, Four Souls, Reborn. <laughs>